and the wind is blowing like like right it's blowing right right into this mic wish I could I should probably put screens or something in front of them how do those reporters do it in the field with the big old fuzzy mics and you never hear wind noise on there upon their audio if they can stand in a hurricane and you can hear them I don't understand it hi and welcome back to the channel today well today we're at the bee castle bee yard and I've got some queens I've got to install a few queens now out of all the hives that I have here, I've probably got four that don't have queens and I've, I've given them eggs and, and they're just not getting around to making a queen cell or they're just not, they're not down with it. So I'm going to give them a queen and I've got several that I think the queen is just not performing the way that I want her to. So I'm going to replace them with new queens. Um, I've got nine queens all together. I need eight of them here and I need one back at the other bee yard. Um, because we've got something going awry back there and one of these days we'll get back there and do, and do a video out of that yard to show you what's going on but uh i'm here let me get my gear on my smoker lit and we'll get out here and we'll try to get some uh, get some queens replaced the last time i was out here i, I left thinking man I've, I've got to do this to this hive that to the other hive and i really couldn't remember so i'm going to take the advice that i received a long time ago and i just never did it because i was i was dealing basically with my own bee yard the little small bee yard now that i've got a lot of hives i'm going to start taking notes got my my son's old math journal here he had a whole bunch of extra paper in it so now i'm going to take notes and try to keep up with exactly what's going on inside these hives i'm also going to number the hives one through 20 so that i can easily you know take notes on what's going on that way when i have a hive that has an issue i will be able to remember which hive and what the issue was that way i can address it and not let things get out of control as seemed to have happened over at the other bee yard because i had four four bee barns without without queens and this morning I went through there and I fixed all but one. So one of these new queens is going to go over to the other bee yard, but that will probably not be in a video. I just told you about it. So there you go. There we go. Now, it is possible that we are going to find a queen in one of these boxes that I thought that I did not have a queen in because it is very, very possible that the queen was on a mating flight or it's possible they didn't make a queen at all. That's what we're going to find out today. And if they do not have one, it's been a few weeks. It's time to give them a queen. Let's see what you have happening in here. That is a lot of bees, which means that is a good sign. All I want to see is brood. Oh, oh, we have, we have, we have a queen in here. We have a laying queen in here. There is a lot of brood in that frame on both sides so that means we have a laying queen oh nope there's a queen there she is right there she's a small one but there's a queen okay they don't like me messing with their queen okay she's got a dot Okay, there she is. Okay, well, you girls do have a queen, so I'm going to leave you be. Hello. Hello. And I can tell you this, this hive is a bit loud. Oh, is that a queen? Nope. Okay, that is all... That is all honey. And nothing on the back. We have... We have brood, but that's brood that I'd given them. That's not fresh. No eggs. No queen. No eggs. All nectar. No queen. Okay, I'm going to give them a queen and see how they take to it. Okay, so this is our Italian hybrid queen bee. There we go. Let's see how these girls like it. Let's see if they uh, see if they are digging on her or see if they are uh, mad. So far, they seem to be digging on her. I'm not going to uh, pre-release her. I'm going to let her release on her own. Okay, they all seem very, very happy. There you go, ladies. All right, that hive. Is Queen right? Let's see. Hello. Nothing going on there. And this is all nectar and bee bread. No eggs. 
nothing that looks like a queen at all. Okay, no eggs. Nothing that looks like a queen bee. No eggs. No queen. Nothing that even looks like a queen. Same thing with this side. Nothing that even looks like a queen. Yeah, let me go get their new queen. Okay, they say there's a queen in there. I see attendance. Oh, I see a queen. She's down on the bottom. Okay, let's see what they uh, think about this, this lady right here. Let's see what they think. Okay, there's some girls coming up to take a look. That looks promising. Everybody's calm. They're all, they're all joining her. They seem to be very happy with her, which means I'm going to move her down into the frame and let them chew out her candy. Here we go. Excellent. All right, we have a queen inside of this hive. Hello, ladies. Just want to see if you have a queen. If you don't, I'm going to surprise you today. <laughs> Hello. Okay, this hive is busy. It's always a good sign. Always a good sign when the hive is busy. Okay, we have nothing happening there. All honey. Okay, they're drawing this out on both sides, storing honey. I have no eggs. Okay, no queen there. Or no evidence of a queen. Okay, this is mostly honey. I can tell by the weight. On both sides, no eggs. No brood, no queen cells. Okay, we have no queen, no eggs. So if any of you are wondering, these are hybrid Italians, which tell me that they're just wildly mated mutts. But uh, they were Italian at one point. Let's just, uh, let's see what happens here. We have bees coming to the coming to the screen. Nobody's trying to ball it. That's a good sign. If some bees trying to feed, they're sticking their proboscis down in there. They're trying to trying to get a, a flavor of her. And they they seem very nice to her. They look like one's already chewing her out. They seem like they're they seem like they're enjoying her company. All right. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, what do we have happening here? And okay, now we're getting into the into the nucleus of the nuke. Okay, we have fresh capped brood there. Now that may be what I gave them. So I did give them some on Monday in hopes that they would make a queen. Oh, they have a queen cell. Okay. So they have a queen cell there. And if I don't see any other... Oh, there's another queen cell. There's three queen cells. One there, one there, and one there. If I don't see any evidence of a queen actively running around this box, I'm going to eliminate those queen cells and give them a queen that is laying and ready to go. I don't want to take the chance on anybody getting eaten by a bird. All right, here's a brand new queen. Let's see how they like her. OK, 
Okay, they found her. Oh, they like her. That's apparent immediately. Okay, we're going to uh, we're going to make a quick decision on this one. I'm going to go ahead and terminate their queen cells. Yeah, they love their new queen. Okay. busy. Let's see if you have a queen. If you don't, I've got a surprise for you. All right, what do we have here? Okay, they're drawing that out. That is 100% honey. Okay, okay, that is a full frame of honey. Yeah, no eggs. Okay, there's some capped brood, but that may be something that I gave them on Monday. No eggs, no larva, no milk brood. Oh, there's a girl with a lot of pollen on those pollen baskets there. Super yellow. Okay, we have not a lot going on there. No brood, no milk brood, no larva. Big zilcheroni on this side as well. Let me look and make sure I don't have a queen running around here. Do not see one. Okay. Here is their queen. Let's see how they uh, how they react. Okay, we have girls coming up on there. Let's move this down a little bit. Oh, and they're fanning. Okay, that is a very good sign that these girls like their queen. She's going to stay. Excellent. Hello. Let's see if we can find a queen in here. You're also the one that had the wired frame. So I've got a new frame for you today too, girls. I'm probably going to have to take that one with me. Okay, this frame is being replaced because it's got cattywampus comb and drone brood all over the place on it. And nothing there. Okay, there's a new one for you. Okay, this hive is loud. That is generally a sign that they are queenless. Okay, we have nothing happening here, nothing happening here. Let's see here, if we're going to have a queen, this is the frame where she's going to be. They've got a little creative back here with the comb, but it's not so bad that I'm going to destroy it. No queen. Nothing that even looks like a queen. Okay, they're drawing this out. There's a ton of drones in here. That's a bad sign. But there's no laying, laying worker because I have no eggs at all in here. Okay. And also, none of these queens are marked. So I will have to uh, come back here one of these days and mark them. Let's see how they react to this queen. Let's just set her right here on the, on the top and see what they do. The question is, are they going to feed her or are they going to try to sting the cage? Hmm. Okay, well that looks, that looks, that looks good so far. Okay, what I'm going to do, do I have any honey on this frame here? Okay, I don't have any honey here. I'm going to put that cage right here so that I don't swamp them with honey. I don't want to, I don't want to destroy any honey at all that these girls may have. I'm kind of put that right there. I'm going to, there, there, there she is. She's right there. They seem to be loving on her a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put that down in the hive. And they're not going to keep this either. I'm sorry, girls. Most of you are drones. Don't need any more drones. All right, all right, I know. Worst thing ever. One more. Okay, girls, I hope that things turn out okay in there. I will be back to check tomorrow to see if you freed your queen. Here we go. I got a present for you. If you don't have a queen, you're gonna love me. You have a queen. Well, I'm sorry for getting into your hive. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 
There's a lot of bees. One, two, three, four, five. So basically they've completed everything that was on their nucleus and they're working on the new frames right now. Well, I guess the good thing is that these girls love these bee castle hives, which of course brings me to, if you are in the market for a new beehive, or you're just beginning your beekeeping journey and you need some hives, I highly recommend that you check out Bee Castle. They make fantastic hives. Every single one of the hives in this apiary are a bee castle, and so far, the bees seem to love them. They assembled nicely. They were all square, right and tight. Very, very, very good hives. So I've left a link down below in the uh, description. You can go to www.beecastleltd.com or visit their Amazon store. I've got a QR code somewhere on the screen right now. Just scan it with your phone and that will take you right there. You can have a look at their uh, their woodware, their beekeeping supplies. I tell you what, they have great hives, great value, and great utility out of these boxes. And I can tell you this, they also cater to people who buy large volumes. They have volume pricing and even wholesale pricing. So if you're looking for some new hives, go out and give Bee Castle a look. I tell you what, you will enjoy the quality of these hives. Your bees will enjoy the hives. All right, we have nothing there. No queen, no queen cells, no brood. Okay, that is all bee bread and honey. 100% resources. Both sides, no queen. Oh, what do we have happening here? Okay, I have a piping queen. Pretty certain I have a piping queen. I think we have a queen or, a, or two queens fighting here. Let's, uh, let's see what we can see. Maybe a queen being born. Oh, there she is. We have a queen. Oh, gone it. can't my, my queen my queen capture is just not gonna work this all the strings are off of it she was piping and on a seek and destroy to try to find another queen to whack so that is a good sign this hive is queen right I will paint her later that makes me happy this hive is in great shape was a nice queen. She looked like a Caucasian. Didn't look Italian. There we go. All right, well, there you go. The end of another adventure. Now we did manage to accomplish the goal. I've got every single hive in the Bee Castle Bee Yard. Queen right. I installed six queens. I've got three queens left, and I'll use those back in the other bee yard. But there you go, and there you have it. Everybody is in good shape. And I want to tell you again how much I appreciate Bee Castle and you for following me along in this journey. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor. Take a moment. Hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. So with all that said, be happy. And I will see you next week. Take care.